rating of the Boston students. Many thanks. Dear Boston alumni, some of you are my uh, classmates, but <laughs> we come from the category of apostolic fathers or mothers, you know. <laughs> but most of the others are my former students, and I say I feel like Father Abraham, father of many generations. <laughs> I'm in Bosse since 1998. So it's a pleasure to be together. And I'm happy to tell you that when I look around, I feel that this assembly is owned by the Bosse students. <laughs> you are everywhere. And when I hear what you are doing in your member churches, I said the investment of Bosse in young people is worthwhile. So I would like to welcome you, also to express our joy that we meet together, and to invoke God's protection and help on all of you. It's a pleasure to be with you here. Second, I was also happy to have an introduction um, <clears throat> by the Swiss people here, and the president of the Protestant churches is here with us. And thank you very much for mentioning Bosse as, uh, how do you say, a valuable presence in Switzerland. We are very happy to be with you, and thank you very much for all your support you are doing for Bosse. I stop here, I don't want to be much longer. Let's enjoy our, ourselves, but let's stay together as a Bosse family. And remember that what I tell others is not uh, an exaggeration. When we meet one another, we discover who we are. And we just come to the conclusion that we cannot exist, but we exist with the others. So thank you very much for being here. I'm somehow the responsible person in our council for um, ecumenical uh, connections and relationships. So for me, it is really a great joy and I feel much honored for being able to address you today. So thank you for this opportunity. I like to greet you in the name of the Protestant Church of Switzerland and as Father Sauka mentioned also of the president of our church, Rita Famos, who is present here. Thank you. Since I started in my ministry as a pastor, ecumenical work on a local, on a regional, and on a national level has always been a part of my work and my life. Sometimes quite challenging, and many times very enriching. I got to know different churches, bro brothers and sisters from different confessions, denominations, traditions, cultures. And I remember well my first visit to Bosse some 25 years ago. It was with our local ecumenical group, church group, because uh, our Roman Catholic colleague, who was part of the Focolare movement, introduced us as an ecumenical group to Bosse. And it was really impressive to meet students there and to see the work. Since its foundation, Bosse has had a strong relationship to Switzerland and vice versa not only because of its location at beautiful Lake Geneva, but also because of one of the initiators, Adolf Keller, and many others who after him supported this institute, the ecumenical movement, and still support it today in word and deed. Still today, this relationship for the Protestant Church in Switzerland is very important. And it is with, with great joy that each year some or many local churches receive Bosse students during the season of Advent in, mid, in the midst of their community life. So thank you for taking part there. And 
it is important that we support each other. Even if I regret that during the last years there were not so many Swiss or even no Swiss students at Bosse, I hope we can change this for the future. It is very important to go along together. The Protestant Church in Switzerland is supporting the Institute of Bosse and will support it in the future. But why? Why is this so important? Because we have learned and we know this, we have known this for some time and we have realized it in this very year, 2022, that the unique possibilities BOSI gives to its students from all around the world, from so many different churches, the possibilities to study, to share, to discuss, to experience deep friendship and spiritual community across all borders, this is one of the very practical ways we as churches really can work for peace and reconciliation in our world. Getting to know each other on a very deep, spiritual, personal level helps understanding where we come from and helps also form our ways together. You as alumni and alumna of BOSE carry what you learned and what you experienced into your church, your context in the world, and also on the international level. I hope that you have discovered that unity is possible in Jesus Christ and on the basis of deep friendship, even if we do not agree always with each other. So, I stand in awe before you and for your being here, carrying the spirit of Bosse and the pilgrimage further on in our world, the pilgrimage on a personal, spiritual, church and international level. So, thank you, all alumni and alumna of Bosse, for being here, for taking part, for going on on this pilgrimage and taking it back home again and including others, taking others on your way. And thank you, Bosse, for carrying on this work. Sometimes it's hard, but it's also very joyful. May the spirit of the living God lead and carry you on into the future. Thank you. Good afternoon, my sisters and brothers in the Lord. It is really an honor and privilege and joy for me to share briefly with you this afternoon. I was at Bosse only 10 years ago. Very like yesterday, I still see here many of the persons who helped to form and shape me during my years at Bosse. I can testify that it has been a life-transforming experience for me. The impact of Bosse will remain with me for the rest of my life. Those of you who studied at Bosse, and I believe that is pretty much all of us here, will agree that there are few, if any other institution, like Bosse. It is not only an educational institution, typical um, of other like other educational institutions, but I have found it to be an instrument of accompaniment in realizing the mission of God in the world, the mission in which all of us are called to participate. I do not believe that we can measure or perhaps would be very difficult for us to measure or to quantify the impact of Bosse on the lives of all of us, the contribution of Bosse to ecumenism. For the graduates of Bosse not only serve the church, but serve in other areas in our country. And probably, Father Yuan, 
one of our master's students or PhD students could be encouraged if this, is, this has not already been done to do a study seeking to determine the impact of BASI. It would be quite revealing, I believe, to get a real sense of the impact BASI has made on the world. I would like to use this opportunity to encourage all of us to continue to give ourselves fully, wholeheartedly, to the work of the WCC as graduates of BASI. Because we are able to bring perspectives, make contributions that are unique because of having been formed and shaped by BASI. I want to also encourage us to take our ambassadorial and advocacy work seriously as Bossyites, I'm forming a new word here, so that this gift of Bossy will be around for a long, 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 long time to come, so that generations coming after us will be able to benefit, will be impacted, their lives will be transformed. But it requires all of us, all of us who have benefited, to invest back into Bossy. So I ask us, how can we be more deliberate? How can we be more intentional in supporting the Ecumenical Institute of Bossy? We thank God for placing this vision in the minds of those leaders of the WCC who conceptualized and made possible this institute. May God bless all of you. May God bless the leaders of the World Council of Churches. And may this assembly theme continue to challenge us to respond to Christ's love, which moves the world to reconciliation and unity. Thank you very much. Ooh.